Hello. Today we're going to do a video about time delay relays, interval relays, and recycle relays. If you look at this uh, lab I have set up here, this is what we're going to use to demonstrate those three different types of relays. And let me point out what I've got going on here. So over here, I have 120 volts going to uh, this bus over here, so that's a constant hot 120 volts. There's neutral. And I also have a switch light coming out of here, which I'm taking to pins two on each of these two different types of relays, which we're going to, uh, bases, which we'll get into later. Okay, from here, I have, of course, this lamp that's going to stand for my load every time it's switched. Um, I have a, sometimes I use the normally closed, normally open to uh, show the difference here. Today, we're just going to be focused on, on this load here. So the first thing we're going to talk about are time on delay relays. So here's one right here. F several things about it, let's note. So again, it's an on delay relay. If you look at this here, you can see the input voltage is 120 volts AC or DC. Now what they're referring to on input voltage is the coil voltage required to make the relay switch. And if you look on pins two and seven, this is where your coil voltage is connected to. It's also going to go DC. If you were um, using DC, you'd have to have positive on 2, negative on 7. And if you look at the board over here, um, we have, this is 2 over here that we have coming from our switch leg. And we have uh, this going to, uh, 7 is going to our neutral bus. So we have that taken care of. Okay. So let's uh, look at some other things that we have here. We have a double pull, double throw relay here. So that means that we have two different commons that we could hook up our common voltage to. In, in this case, today we're going to use one. Okay. And then if you look over here, it's touching this contact. So that is your normally closed contact on pin four. The one where it's not touching is uh, pin three, which would be your normally open contact. And over here, I have this set up for normally open off of um, pin three. One other thing you're gonna notice about this is it's an eight pin base, octal base. And if you look at this in the light, you can see the numbers on the bottom of this thing, which is usually not what I use to uh, find out what, which pin is what. I usually figure that out here on the uh, base. But there, it, this is key to only go in a cert, one certain way only. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in, okay? And uh, I'm also gonna point out this one has a zero to 10 second adjustable relay. So it's about on four seconds. So basically, let's uh, see what a time on delay relay says. And it's pretty much what you think it is gonna be. It's gonna delay on before the load switches. So we're gonna look at a cut sheet right here that talks about this, it says when the input voltage is applied. The time delay begins. Relay contacts change state after the time delay is complete. When the input voltage is removed, contacts return to their shelf state. Shelf state means a state where it's not energized. And over here to the right, you see the uh, diagram that shows, okay, when it's switched on, here's your delay. And after that delay, then it comes on. Well, let's see if we can make that happen. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the switch here. And after about four seconds, it switches on. Yep, it's working right. And once again, if I take off the, the voltage here, it's gonna go back to its uh, relaxed state. Let's try that once again. Switch, we'll wait about four seconds and sure enough, our load comes on. And we'll go ahead and switch that off. The next type of relay we have is an interval relay. Well, let's look what an interval relay does that's any different from an on delay relay. Okay, so if we look at an interval relay, it says when the input voltage is applied, the relay contacts change state immediately, and then the time cycling begins. When the time delay is complete or when the input voltage is removed, contacts return to the shelf state. So this is different than the on delay. The on delay, the load doesn't switch and come on until the time has gone through the delay. Interval is the other way around. It comes on right away and it switches out off 
after the delay has been spent. So one thing that I have here is um, I have a multifunction type of relay here. The other one was a monofunction. And the re reason I'm using this is because we didn't have a uh, monofunction interval relay. So I'm using this, um, this multifunction one and it's pretty neat. Um, you can see that the different functions on this are on delay, B is interval, C is off delay, so on and so forth. You know, for right now, um, I chose B. You could you could see how you could toggle back and forth here, um, but I'm choosing B for our on delay. Uh, I'm sorry for my interval. So zero zero five and S is five seconds. You can also change this last character to where you need it. Right there will work for seconds. Okay. Now, if you look at the base of the relay here, this is actually an 11 pin base relay. Um, you'll find 11 pin base relay on off delays and one shots and multifunction. And the reason we're using this again is because I didn't have a monofunction. The base is a little bit different though, but I still have this wired up to act the same way. Now, it's really important to be able to have the right reference material for um, your relay, okay? Um, this one, actually, if you look at the side of it, I've got from the IEC and it's all worn out. All I saw was D905 and it kind of stopped there. So I went to Google, and this is something you might have to do as a tech, as an electrician out in the field. If you don't know if it's worn away, you don't know what that is, you're probably going to have to go online. Well, I struck gold with this one because I found out it was a 9050 and with 120 volts it was 9050 JK70. So why I needed that is I needed to have the pin out. Now if you recall on our uh, on delay relay we use pins 2 and 7 as the input voltage. On this one it's pins 2 and 10 so again this shows you that it's important not to guess. And again I have the switch leg wired up to um, to two on this and 10 I have going back for um, our neutral to bring this on. Now one thing that is kind of the same here is that my power for switching I have a double pull double throw but I have I have it coming on one and, and on this one 11 but one three and four was just like our other relay and I have this wired up at one and I have it on three for a normally open contact. Okay, so once again, so let's go in, let's plug this in. Okay, and we have this set for uh, the interval for five seconds. Okay, let's give that a try. So if we switch it, load comes on right away. You can see the relay is timing, and after about five seconds, there it goes off again. And it'll stay in that state until... We remove uh, the switching voltage. We do that again. Once again, it comes on. Times for about five seconds. And now it turns off. To talk about in this uh, video will be our recycle. Now, let's go back and look at our multi, I'm sorry, wrong one. Let's look at our multifunction relay. And they're calling this a repeat cycle off or a repeat cycle on rather than recycle. But it's the same thing. You could either repeat the cycle off, repeat the cycle on. Let's go ahead with repeat the cycle off. So let's go to uh, change this to, five, uh, to E. Let's keep it at five seconds, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. All right, and let's read uh, what a, a repeat cycle off does for us. So as when input voltage is applied, the time delay T1 begins. When time delay T1 is complete, the relay contacts change state. For time delay T2, this cycle repeats until the input voltage is removed. So you can see, after time, it switches. After time, it switches. Okay? So about every five seconds, this should change states between on and off. So let's go ahead and give it a, a go here. So at first, nothing going here. And about five seconds, there it comes on. It'll stay on for about five seconds and then it should switch off and there it goes once again five seconds on and then five more seconds elapse and it 
Pizza auf.